Today I'm going to show you how to start a fire with char cloth and uh, materials you find in the wood. First, I've gathered some tinder. This is my first sort of tinder that I found, was some uh, dried leaves and loads of twigs and bits. But this stuff, I found this later on, and it's um, some like dried grass. This catches a flame really well. So let's just get a fire starter. And I'm using my fire steel, which is on the butt of this knife. It's quite handy, you see. The nice thing about char cloth is that it takes a flame really easily and it lasts and burns for quite a while to give you time. First, I'm just going to lace some of this char cloth in here. It's always good, like when it catches a flame, you need your little twigs and stuff right by the side of you so you can just chuck them on straight away or else your fire, well you run the risk of your fire going out too early. It's like a premature fire and then you'll have to start all over again. And to make it burn better, you can blow air into it because all fire needs to work is a good circulation of air, um, carbon to burn and then it gives you heat basically. Now do you see the advantages of using char cloth? It just gives you a longer time, a longer ember burning through the cloth uh, to get that fire going and you can just blow it in the tinder and uh, that was actually the first time I've ever done this and that's how easy it is. I was a bit worried that it wasn't going to work and it did work first time so there's a good advertisement for char cloth and I made this myself in another video you can check it out here um, but yeah let's keep building up this fire it's going to take time you don't want to rush it and put too much on and smother it so now we're just going to keep building on it so you want to design your fire on how you're going to use it basically so we're going to actually cook on this first and then later on we're going to stock it up build a big fire to keep us warm at night when it gets colder so we're going to get this going really well really really well it's quite hot and then let it burn down so there will be like coals still burning uh, just enough to put a grill on and then cook our burgers and meat and camp food on and then after we've got full bellies we're going to stock it up and then keep ourselves warm. So now we've burnt the fire down it's still roaring inside because look if you uh, blow on it it burns really hot. So now the coals have died down a bit it's now the temperature that we can cook on but not burn them. Now we've flattened these burgers so they won't fall through this thing. So as you can see I've built up the fire quite large now because we cooked all our burgers and had all our food. It was amazing and now you can really feel the heat of it. Just this little like medium sized fire but uh, it's enough for us. What we're going to do is keep ourselves warm and then when it's going to die down go to bed and wrap up in our sleeping bags so keep all that warmth in. So thanks for watching guys, I hope this has helped you in some way and if you want to be entered into giveaways all you have to do is be a subscriber on my channel and uh, tune in next time to join the expedition.